Hey guys, long time and today I'm gonna be sharing with you my beauty favorites of the moment so makeup, skincare, everything that I've been loving I'm gonna share with you and there is a lot of new stuff I wanna share with you so let's get started so guys the first item I have to share with you is this Makeup Revolution Ultra Blush Palette and I just got it um, last, I think it was two months ago and it has um, eight shades and also has like a few that you can use as a highlight like this one this one and it has another pinky there's like a shade you can use to contour as well but the one i love most is this one it's like a bronzy and you can use it as a highlight as well let me do it in the back of my hand maybe you can see uh, it's like a bronzy orangey blush and it's like really illuminating so it gives you like a nice glow on the cheeks and I think this um, is around eight pounds, I think, eight, seven pounds, but it's really, really good value for the amount of product you get here. The pigmentation is great and like everything else from Makeup Revolution, it's just a really good, affordable brand, so obsessed. And another palette I have to share with you guys, this is not a secret for my friends and people that knows me, is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar. And this is my favorite eyeshadow palette, you guys. It just has like really beautiful shades. It has like all the bronzes, the golds, the purple shades, like just basically everything you need. And the pigmentation is amazing. It smells like chocolate. It's just, I use it every single day. Like I can never get enough of this palette. It's just gorgeous. And yeah, it's definitely my favorite. Like this is a must have, I love it. And one more thing guys, still on the makeup topic, is the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation and this is amazing. Uh, I think I did a tutorial using this one on my face and it covers everything but it still gives you the natural finish. It doesn't make you look cakey like I see, I saw a lot of reviews online. Some people liked, some people disliked on my skin and I have combination to oily skin. It worked amazing. Uh, the shade matches me perfectly which is the 33 beige and a little goes a long way as well which is a really amazing foundation i don't know if i would use this on daily basis like every day but for the night time to me is the best like it gives you flawless flawless coverage and it does photographs uh, beautifully as well so if you're gonna take pictures or if you're gonna go to a wedding or something, or a prom, or you know you're gonna take a lot of pictures, then this is the way to go. This foundation is really, really amazing. It's a little bit on the pricier side, but again, a little goes a long way, so it will last you a long time. So I love this one. Guys, this one I'm gonna show you now, I actually bought um, last week, or was two weeks ago. My memory is terrible, but um, I've been obsessed i'm like where have you been all my life like really is the nyx uh finishing hd powder and this one is in the shade banana which is like a yellowy shade to set concealer on the eyes and to brighten uh, the face certain areas of the face so this one is actually the one i'm using right now you can see i'm using bridge of nose like on the eyes and stuff and it does gives you like a flawless finish if you suffer with pores like me, if you have oily skin, I have a lot of lash pores around here and in the middle of my forehead. As soon as I apply this, it gives you that smooth, perfect finish on my skin. Lasts all day. It doesn't make me look cakey. It just gives you that perfect amount of brightness. Like from medium to fair skin, I think this is amazing. So it's a must have and it's only seven pounds. Right guys, now I, now I have something really nice to share with you guys. You probably know some of you, but um, it's the Duo Glue and it's the Brush On Duo Glue. And I've got black, both black and white color. Guys, this is the best eyelash glue. Like if you wear false eyelashes like me, I wear them pretty much every day to go to work and stuff. And this keeps my eyelash on all day without coming off and also it doesn't irritate my eyes. Before I was using the Duo, the original one, and it was really irritating my eyes. It was just nightmare. So first I bought the white one and I loved it and then I bought the black one. So this is really, really worth the money. Plus it comes with a little brush like this so you can really control where you place the glue. And also is waterproof. So it's really good 
stays in place all day it gets stucky very quick so you don't have to be waiting there like too long until it gets stucky it just gets stucky straight away and is the best you guys is the best this stuff is the shit you need in your life right guys another product i want to mention is the mac pro long wear concealer and this i have a relationship of love and hate because I bought this a while ago, I tried on me, I hated, I thought it was too drying for my under eyes. I tried this product like any possibly way you could imagine and did not work for me. But then one day I came to work and um, I had to do my makeup at work and I went to my counter, I got the, con the same one, I applied under my eyes and it was flawless. The best of everything is that it did not sit on my fine lines under my eyes and it stayed put all day. So this stuff really does what it says and it is really, really long wear. So I just end up buying another one. So it's my shade is NC30 and little goes a long way with this one but probably this is one of the best concealers of all time. So I don't know why I didn't like before. I think probably I was applying the wrong way but it's just amazing. So in love again. So, uh, I'm not a big fan of primers, but I've been trying this NYX Pore Filler Primer and this stuff is really good. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, you saw that I posted this one on my Snapchat and it really does what it says. It really fills in your pores, it gives you the flawless, airbrushed, smooth skin um, and it really does work. I mean, I'm not a big fan of primer to be honest, but this one... A friend of mine tried and she said to me it was really good. It is an amazing product that I've been using pretty much every single day and I'm obsessed with it. So it's really good for the price. Right guys, I've also been obsessed with two makeup brushes and one is the MAC 187, which is this one. It's a stippling brush, but I actually use for blending bronzer or blush and it just blends everything like heaven is absolutely amazing um, usually people use this kind of brush for applying foundation I'm not a big fan but for foundation I'm obsessed with the start kabuki brush to, for applying foundation is the best you guys listen to me is the best like I don't know what is it about I don't know if it's the size or the fluffiness of it but I think it makes you look air brushed and it's just in like literally a minute like my foundation is done so this is amazing as well and it's vegan i love the idea behind the brand as well it's just beautiful so these two are the ones i'm obsessed urban decay the this leak makeup setting spray oil control and this one was a recommendation from a friend of mine hello dilara if you're watching this video um and it's a setting spray that controls the oil and you know i'm a little bit skeptical about setting sprays that controls oil because i feel like how does a spray something that is watery will make your skin less oily like i cannot understand a powder that will make you less oily but a spray not sure but every single time i tried this one i noticed that by the end of the day my face wasn't as oily as when I don't wear so I think it's definitely down to this so I definitely recommend and I bought the small size so I can carry with me everywhere I go so you guys always ask me what lipstick I use every single photo I post on my social media or I use here on my YouTube you guys always ask me what lipstick are you using and usually it's like nude movie colors because we just love nude right it's just easy but I'm obsessed with this Ofra liquid lipstick um, the formula is just amazing, it's a, like a mousse creamy formula that dries to a matte finish but it doesn't dry your lips so it doesn't emphasize fine lines on your lips and it doesn't make your lips super dry so it's really really comfortable and um, I've got a few colors I have Staten Island, Pasadena, Laguna Beach, I've got about 10 colors of these and they are amazing, amazing I think you can order them online in the UK um, but have a look, Ofra Cosmetics is the best liquid lipstick, it's very similar to the NYX soft matte lip cream but it's just less drying and more pigmented so these are amazing. Right guys and I have um, two lip glosses to share with you and one is the Lip Maximizer by Dior and this one it contains collagen so it's really good for hydrating the lips, plumping the lips as well, it just feels amazing, it just really smooths and hydrates the lips so I love this one and I carry it with me 
ev also everywhere I go, so I love this product. So guys, another lip gloss that I've been obsessed is the Chanel lip gloss in the shade 166, is this one. And funny fact is that when I came to London in 2009, I went to Boots to do my first like makeup shopping. And this is what this was one of the first like high-end super luxurious makeup I've ever bought in my entire life and I just remember me wearing every day I used to put like on and feel like oh my god I'm so chic because I've got a Chanel gloss like it was hilarious but then I ended up losing it and then I was in the counter a few months ago and I picked up the exact same shade I was like I can't believe it and I just I just picked up, I said, okay, can I have this color? Then when I came home, I just checked the number. I can remember the number years ago that was exactly the same color. So, yeah, it's definitely my favorite. And it's just like a peachy color. It looks beautiful on the lips. It's perfect for summertime as well. It's super sexy, plumps. It's very comfortable on the lips. It's super long-lasting as well. This is probably the gloss that I found, like, the most long-lasting out of all the glosses I tried my entire life. This one lasts ages on the lips as well, so love it. Then let's move on to skincare and I'm going to start by showing you guys this Rodial Super Acid Serum. And guys, this serum is everything. Like, it's everything. I used on my previous video, the smell of it, like I tried before, I was like, mm, I'm not sure I don't like the smell. But then I was like, I'm going to give it another go because the ingredients in this are amazing, especially for oily to combination skin or just acne from skin. It's just amazing because what it does, it really purifies your skin, your pores, but in the same time it hydrates, if that makes sense. Sometimes I feel like only this serum is enough. I don't need to apply even a moisturizer on top. My skin feels hydrated, it feels clean, feels clean. my pores are minimized. It's just, guys, it's the best. Like, if you have combination to oily skin, this is amazing. And this has like a mixture of lactic acid, acid-like acids, which is really good for purifying the skin and balancing the skin as well. So is yeah it's amazing i love it and little goes a long way so it really did change the texture of my skin because i have oily skin again i have pores around my forehead pores everywhere and my skin was starting to get like a weird texture because of that and this serum really did help to smooth everything and just to gently exfoliate my face as well so i really love this product Another product I'm loving is the Nip and Fab um, Glycolic Fix Night Pads in Extreme. Uh, they also do the day, I think it's the Glycolic Fix Daily Pads, but I actually prefer this one. I have both, but this one I think it works better for my skin type. And this is really good for exfoliating, deep cleansing your face. So one thing I find is super important for combination to oily skin is to double cleanse. The secret for flawless, clear skin for oil in, in combination skin is to double cleanse uh, because of the oils like the gunk the makeup like I wear makeup every day so I really really need to really deep cleanse my face uh, regularly so this one I use three times a week this is not for everyday use because it's again is extreme so it is quite um, uh, very active very strong for the face but if you use two to three times you it will give you amazing results your skin is gonna be smooth your pores will be minimized and it's just amazing also contains vitamin c which is very brightening for the face so this is very good and very affordable is around 11 11 to 10 pounds at boots and super drug so i love this stuff it's the best i know guys this video is going to be super long but i want to share with you as well this clarins radiance plus golden glow booster so it's basically like a self tan for the face and but it's all natural it all comes from plants and things because it's clarins so clarins is quite natural too so basically what you do is like an oil so it's a facial oil you that you mix with your moisturizer so what you do i'm not going to show you here but what you do you just add a few drops three to five drops onto your moisturizer mix and then apply on your face and neck and when you wake up in the morning it just gives you a really beautiful golden glow and the more you use, the more brown you be. But you cannot use this on its own. But I just noticed that sometimes I fake tan my body and my face is like really pale. So I, sometimes I don't like because even if you don't have makeup, you don't you don't want to see that difference. Like even when I'm at home and I don't have any makeup on, I look myself in the mirror. I'm like, 
I feel weird because it, like from my neck down is super brown but my face is pale so this is really good for that as well to give you that golden glow to your skin even if you don't have makeup and if you don't want to tan your face if you're gonna go on holiday but you want to like avoid sun on your face because of sun damage this is a really good alternative to get a bit of color on your face without having to ex expose yourself to the sun so i definitely recommend and this is very cheap i think it's around 18 pounds and it lasts a long time because you only need a few drops so yeah obsessed and guys my final beauty product i want to share with you because i know this video is too long you guys are probably bored already but is the Memo Paris Lalibella fragrance and this perfume it smells like I don't know it smells like something powerful like a powerful woman a stylish woman <laughs> nothing that I am really but <laughs> it just smells amazing it's a mixture of like sweet but floral but like citrusy and I don't know guys I'm terrible at describing fragrances but this perfume is amazing it's very pricey it's like 100 pounds something um, but it will last a long time so this one is 75 ml but it goes a long way and it lasts a very long time on the skin as well and it just smells very lux luxurious and it's very remarkable smell so yeah so this is my new obsession and that's it for my beauty favorite guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give me a thumbs up subscribe share with your friends and let me know on the comments below what you guys want to see next and thank you so much for your support and your love see you in the next video